Ah, what's up, y'all? Hey, today I'm making pokey. Now, pokey is something so simple. It's not complicated, but you get to create it the way you want to based on your taste buds. I'm gonna simplify it for you, and then you go ahead and make it how you want to, okay? My leafy greens right here, I'm using cilantro, because I like to change it up. I like a little bit of a pop but you do it the way you want to do it. A spring mix is your traditional. Um, I have a Japanese cucumber, which is bomb. It's very different than normal cucumber. It's more firm inside and it's not that soft uh, texture that you're used to on a regular cucumber. Uh, I have green onion. Green onion to me is mandatory, it pops. Cucumber optional, cilantro leafy greens optional. But the standard pokey is just really simple. So fresh fish, mandatory. You cannot compromise with the fish, all right? A lot of times you go to the um, pokey spots and it's, uh, it's inexpensive. Well, the grade of your fish is gonna determine that. And so I go ahead and I, I spend a little bit of money. You know, some of y'all out there got the Louis Vuitton. You got the designer shoes, the designer fit. Well, I definitely love my body. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of something on that designer food to make sure it's high quality. And I don't care what's on the label as far as it being marketed and it's like the known brand. I read the label based on the ingredients and then the quality is what I'm looking for. And fresh fish is something I don't compromise. So I'm gonna first start off fresh board, get those veggies cut before I put that meat on there. So what I like to do is I go ahead and lengths, you know, cut these lengthwise. And again, you do it the way you wanna do it. This is just how I do it. Cool, now I'm gonna have my green onion. So I always take those little ends off just because they look a little rough. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and thinly slice these guys because I want to. Again, it's your preference. All right, cool. So there's my green onion. So this is my bowl I'm gonna put my pokey in, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some cucumber in there right now. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some green onion in there. Cool. So I'm gonna put that to the side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my tuna. And what I like to do is look at the grain. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice him. And again, it's all based on what you like as far as thickness. I want it too small. I don't want it too big either. When I put this, the dressing on it, is what I like to call it, um, I like it to absorb the flavors. Now there's another type of pokey, it's called Lomi Lomi Salmon. I have another video for that. And um, that's what salmon, so if you're looking for the high omegas, a different type of fish, you're not really tripping on um, tuna, and you rather, you know, have salmon, check out that Lomi Lomi Salmon. That's what's up too, that's bomb. You know, my Auntie Coco was famous for her Lomi Lomi Salmon, I mean, and she put some love into it. So, Auntie, if you're watching this, I love you. I miss that Lomi Lomi salmon. For real. All right, cool. All right. Okay. So, two different variances. One's a little, this is definitely looks bomb to me. Sure broke the mouth. This is a little more firm, still bomb. Cool, so there's that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to my bowl, okay? Okay, 
Okay, so a couple things here. So I have my tuna I already chopped up. I'm using blue fin because that's what's up. I have green onion. I have some Japanese cucumber because re remember the Japanese cucumber is the different texture and it's firm and it holds up better in your pokey. Um, definitely sushi as well. So you want to opt out, get the Japanese cucumber. Um, opt out of that um, regular cucumber. All right, so I have, this is uh, sesame oil. There's a light and a dark. I like for pokey, I like more of a, a darker, more rich flavor. This is my soy sauce, my Kiko men. Um, there's also uh, shoyu, which I really, really love, but I'm gonna use Kiko men today. So, the measurements will be in down below in the recipe. Cool. Sesame oil. Cool. All right, so I have my green onion. I have my cucumber. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. Sesame oil, shoyu or soy sauce. Y'all don't even know. I'm telling you. Cool. And if y'all know, shoot, you already know. <laughs> Food makes me happy. You know, it should at least, you know. If you like me, love you some food. You know what I'm talking about. It's like that happy dance. Ah. All right, cool. So now that that sits, the more it sits, the more it's gonna absorb all those flavors from the soy sauce, the sesame oil. You could also add your own little kick to it. Now to make it a little spicy, I'll add some chili sauce or, um, or paste. And then um, this particular one I really like, uh, or sriracha or even chili oil. I think I'm gonna add just a tad. Sriracha. Get this baby open real quick. Cool. Just a little bit. Cool. Add that to it. Now this is a uh, radish sprout. This is really, really bomb. It's optional, um, but this is really good. This is what's actually in the sushi. A lot of times you go out to eat and there's the greenery that's inside the sushi. There's seeds on it, so I just keep the seeds out. And then I just add that to my greens, just for a little pop. It's kinda got a peppery flavor to it. Anyways, I like it. And then I have pickled ginger that I like to add, as well as I have um, seaweed salad. So the seaweed salad is really bomb. They have it already pre-made. Um, my auntie used to make this all the time, which was really, really good. Get my pickled ginger. This is optional. I just, I love it. Look, obviously, right? I love me some pickled ginger. And this one, you wanna look at the ingredients, but I mean, this is something the cool little staple to have in your house. The vinegar is good for your digestion. So um, if you like it, add it in there, you know? Anything that's good for the body, right? So now what I'm gonna do is, I have my bowl here because it's all about portion and control, right? Now, honestly, if you're really active, this is something you don't really have to get crazy about far as portion. Um, I would just kind of keep an eye on the rice amount. But again, it's all based on your macros, where, which is based on your activity level. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, if you're not aware what macros are, that would be your fat percentage per meal, and then your overall, what you're eating throughout the whole day, how much fat intake you're consuming, how much protein intake you're consuming, as well as your carbs. 
and sugar is definitely something you want to pay attention to but if you're getting in those balanced good fats good protein and good carbs then you're really gonna not have such mad crazy cravings and a lot of times you know the sugar is really coming from fruits because that's something you really want to incorporate in your body with those nutrients and stuff like that so that's just a quick little recap on that i'm always talking about macros but um to me they're important it's really just your food and having it balanced i mean it's chemistry right i mean you want your good nutrients you want your flavors but they feed off of each other and they, you don't want just protein you don't want just carbs and you just definitely don't just want fats so you know have fun with it explore I mean, there's more to it, but that's a good little, you know, just summary real quick. Now, rice, y'all, I'm telling you, this is gonna be another video. It's the rice cooker. There's a real thing. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, but I promise you, if you've been knowing, man, you already ahead of the game. If you just learning, man, the Japanese rice cooker, this particular one is just, the rice is so much different. It's really a difference. It's a little pricey. It's like 200 and something, 300, but it's worth it. I promise you. So if you love some rice, this is what you want to do. I'll do another video on information of that, different types of rice, the sprouted rice. If you're not really into brown rice, this, I mean, there's some information I want to share with y'all because I'm becoming a rice connoisseur. Bomb. So anyway, here's my rice. So I'm going to have my measurement now i eat a lot of rice so i'm pretty good at eyeballing it so i am going to eyeball my rice so i'll put some rice in there with my greens oh trust me there's more coming cool so there's my rice here is my pokey Hey, na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this makes me happy. It's so bomb to me. All right, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more up in there because I love my protein. Feed those muscles with some recovery nutrients. I have my ginger. I'm gonna put some seaweed salad up on that. You know? that's bomb too i like this stuff you know that's nutrients right there baby don't trip and actually one more thing we'll go ahead and add that right on in there cool all right y'all that's it Quick, easy, delicious. It's all about what you're doing, how you're doing it, right? Food can be bomb. It doesn't have to be bland. It doesn't have to be something that is a struggle. It's all about understanding it, and then you get to enjoy it. You can get fit, and you can eat some loving food. Yeah, I said loving food, because man, it does good lovings to my soul. <laughs> Not for real, though. I love food. So I'm here to tell you, you can be fit and still love eating food. It's just how you do it. And I'm sharing that with y'all. Also other things and aspects about this is me year round. Being fit, loving life, eating tasty food. It's a real thing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you're digging it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll comment back, you know, I appreciate it. All right, y'all, to the next one. Mwah.